The water is constantly moving. How, how is anything staying in one place? That's why the CMOS has to be attached to a rock. If you're walking along the beach on, on, the, on the thing, you will step on sea moss. Insane. Yeah. It's, it's the most scariest thing. Get wild crap in from here. That's where they're getting their wild crap. They're just picking it up off the bottom of the ocean. It's just washed up, so you don't know how long it's been sitting there. Mm -hmm. But here's something that many people don't realize. What, what does sea moss use to eat? What is its food? Well, it's, it's the plankton and the bile. No, it's nitrates, nitrogen. Yeah, water. Exactly. So that's what it feeds on. It doesn't come from nutrients from the rock. It actually comes from the land, right? right. And that's why we have a problem with sagacity right now. Is because they believe that the the nutrient, the the water is uh, the ocean has a high level of uh, nitrogen, and it's and it's feeding this this uh, sagacity. That's blooming everywhere. Well, the sagasm that's in Mexico and so forth. Everywhere in the world, bro. It's you, bro. It's ridiculous. Even in Saint Lucia, it kills. Like it destroys sea moss farms because they will come in like a, like a like a like a island and just like engulf everything. But sea moss, the more sea moss you put in the water, is going to eliminate the the problem with the sagasm. I think part of the problem we have with the sagasm is because we have less sea moss in the water because we keep trying to pull it out thinking, well, it's better because it's wild. We need to be adding more sea moss to the ocean, not taking out sea moss to the ocean. We're killing the ocean. We're killing the, the, um, the, the, the yeah, all, all the coral reefs. This is what I learned, right, about sea moss is that sea moss can't grow uh, like can't flourish properly in coral reefs and then in fact where there is coral reefs it's not a suitable spot for growing sea moss because sea coral reefs can't grow in high levels of nitrogen and the sea moss needs high levels of nitrogen to grow so, so it's counterintuitive not only that but by eliminating the sea moss from the ocean you are now raising the level of nitrogen in the thing and you're killing the coral